Hello, hello. Good morning. Yes. Okay. okay. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank oh, you're fine. Oh, I like your background. <laughs> it's nice. All right. So let me share my screen with you, and we'll start. Here we go. Oh, by the way, have you received the homework that I gave? Yes, I uh, have done my homework. Okay, very well. Yep, yep. So you can send it back later, maybe in the afternoon or when you have free time, okay? All right, so let's have this one. Remember, we read about the story of uh, rats from our previous meeting. Do you remember that? Your sound is very small. Hello. Hold on. Uh, okay, I can uh, hear. Oh, you can hear me now? Yes. Okay, very good. So remember... Uh, we have discussion about the rats. Yep. Remember this one? Um, yeah. Remember this? Yes. Okay. So let's have a review on this one. Okay. I'll give you a three minutes to read it again. And then after that, we're going to have a comprehension check. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you may now start. Um, I finished 
Very good. All right. Okay, so now let's have, let's answer these exercises. Okay, so first question will focus on what is the passage teaching us? All right, so here are your choices. Um, 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 our, our job at home, if we live in a neighborhood, uh, my pet we. My pet food and pet dish should be removed. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, to keep rats out of yard and home if we live in a foreign country is or just should be inside just can uh metal and heavy heavy place uh, a good place keep most feeder on rice stands. Okay, um to choose from letters A, B, C, and D for question number one. What is this passage teaching us? You can choose from only what A, B, C, and D. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Um uh, the passage teaching us is uh how to keep Rust out of yours and home if we live in a neighborhood. Okay, fantastic. Very good. All right. Next, why is it important to take the pet dish inside when your pet is finished eating? So choose from letters A, B, C, and D. Uh, pet uh, rust will come to eat pet food. Very good. Okay, so in the text, properly sanitize means. Um, this is uh, Letter A. Um, letter yes. A. Yeah. Mm, I'll give you a clue. Sanitize it means to uh, move the dirt from something. To move, move, remove the dirt. Is it dirty? Uh no, nah, it's not dirty. Remove, remove, remove the dirt. Remove the dirt. Yep, remove the dirt. Mm. Yes. It. Paid for. Paid for. Paid for. Ah, okay. So remember this, okay? Uh, the word sanitize, we can, uh, we can incorporate it with the word clean. Clean. Yep, clean. Sanitize, it is clean. Very good. All right, so number four, what information could be added to the text above? Uh, but Peter, a uh, cracked or broken window should be not replaced for two months. Okay, so what letter is that? Uh, my uh, answer is D. D, cracked or broken windows should not replace for two months. All right, so remove all cans to pet bowls that may catch the rain. Rats drink rainwater. Okay, so the question here is, uh, what are the other information that we could add, 
add to the text above. So this one is already in the text. Uh, bird feeders may be replaced on the ground. Letter C, leave yard full of rubbish and garbage piles. That is also in the text. And letter D is also in the text. So B, it is not in the text yet. We can add it. Another information that we could add. Okay? All right. So this one. Okay, so for this one, you just have to um, you just have to choose whether A, B, C, or D. Okay, so here is the question: Where do rats love to crawl? Oh, a book, you, your microphone is muted. Oh. Rats, love, rats love to crawl uh, crickets and broken window. Okay, so rats love to crawl in cracked, broken window. Wow, good job. Okay, so according to the text, how many steps should we follow? Uh, according to the text, uh, step should we follow a uh, C3? C number three. All right, very good. Okay, so choose the correct answer. When you finished, take your dish away. Uh, when you finish eating, take your dish away. Okay, when you finish. All right, so when you finish eating, take your dish away. Okay, great job. Very good. All right. Okay, so the next activity that I have here for you is uh, listening, okay? Yes. So for listening, I want you to listen carefully because the audio for this one is a bit fast. <clears throat> okay, hold on, my earphone is slipping off. Okay, so for listening, our... Names and titles. Very good. Oh, this one is titles. Titles. Very good. So later on, we will find out what are those titles that we incorporate with the names. But first, let's have a vocabulary check. All right. So can you read the first word for me? Reservation. Okay, very Reservation. good. Reservation. Yeah, reservation. Reservation. Good job. Okay. One more time. Reservation. Reservation. Okay. Uh, this one is re. Reser. Re. Very good. Re. Zer. Reservation. Reservation. Good. good job. Okay. Now let's say it in, in full. Okay. Reservation. Reservation. Okay, good job. Next. First name. Okay, so this is a first name, okay? All right, next. Last name. Good job, this is the last name. Message. Okay. Message. Uh-huh, message, very good. To take a message. All Left right. A Leave a message. Okay, very good. Telephone number. Okay. Call. Mm -hmm. Appointment. Okay, very good. To have an appointment. Okay, very well. Assignment. Mm -hmm. Homework assignment. Very good. All right, actually, we can use the word assignment in different uh, in different sentences, in different situations. But in my country, 
we call the homework, this one, you know, the activity after class, homework assignments. In other countries, they just call it homework. All right. So now let's have a discussion about the last name and the first name. Because I think in Vietnam and in other country, uh, it got different structure when it comes to first name and um, last name. Okay. Okay. My first name is Cherry. Okay. Uh, Cherry Joyce. This is my first name. And my last name is Dakara. Okay, so in other English country, their first name and last name is written also like this. For example, uh, it written, let's say, Mary. Okay, Mary and the last name is Smith. Okay, so in this format, okay, first name first, okay, first name. And then last name. Okay, so it is written in this format. But there are countries around the world that their format is like this. Okay, last name. And then first name. Mm -hmm. First name. Okay, for example, in country like Korea. Okay, in Korea, it is inverted. Okay, Lee, Lee, Sok Jin. Okay, so Lee is the last name of this person and Sok Jin is his first name. You see, it is in reverse. It's different. What about in, in Vietnam? How was the first name, last name written in Vietnam? What comes first? Uh, uh, last, uh, last name is first and uh, first name is first name is uh, in the last last uh, to first last okay. name uh, last name first and first name last. last okay okay I understand so your last name is Nguyen is it right yes okay and Ngoc Phuc that is your first name Yes. Okay, I see, I see. Very good. All right, so now, okay, given that, we're clear with that one. So we have here a practice, okay? So this is a listening practice. Listen, what is the correct name of the hotel guest? So circle the correct answer. Yeah, if you have a pencil and a paper, you can write it down because this is one to six. All right, so listen, I will play the audio twice. Pay attention, listen carefully. Unit one, names and titles. Page two. Two, let's listen. What is the correct name of the hotel guest? Circle the correct answer. One. My name is Maria Carter and I have a reservation. Is that M-A-R-Y-C-A-R-T-E-R? -E no, Maria. M-A-R-I-A. -A. Oh, right. Here it is. Two nights, right? That's right. Two. Can I have your name, please? Smith. Susanna Smith. Is that S-U-S-A-N? No, S-U-Z-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Sorry, Miss Smith. I don't see anything here, and the hotel is full tonight. What? Three. Mr. Wilson? That's right. Harry Wilson. Is that H-A-R-V-E-Y? No. H-A-R-R-Y. They call me Dirty Harry. Oh. Four. My name's Abramson. A-B-R-A-M-S-O-N. Do you have a reservation for me? Hmm, just a minute. First name Joseph? That's right, Joseph. Ah, yes. Here it is. Five. My name's Louis Jackson. Is that L-O-U-I-S-E? No, that's a girl's name. Oh, 
Sorry. It's L O U I S. Of course. Six. Can I have your name, please? Cruz. C R U I S E. And your first name? Marley. That's M A R L E Y. That's an unusual name. <laughs> yes, it is. I hate it. Okay, one more time. I think I have the answer. Okay, very good. That's nice. All right, so let's check. Number one. Number one is B, Maria Taylor. Very good. Oh, this one is Carter. Huh. Good job. Number two. Number two, my answer is A, Susanna Smith. Okay, great job, Susanna Smith. Okay, number three. Uh, number three is A, Harry Wilson. Okay, number four. Number four is um, B, Joseph M. Abramson. Okay, Joseph Abramson. All right, so number five. Number five, my answer is, is, is I, Louis Jackson. Okay, Louis Jackson. Okay, number six. Number six, uh, my answer is B, Marley Cruz. Okay, Marley Cruz. All right, very good. So this is practice 2.2. Listen and circle the correct answer. So we have four questions here. So there are empty spaces on each number. So listen carefully, okay? You can choose from letters A, B, and C. So let me turn up the volume. One. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Bob from school. Bob Jackson. Can you spell your last name? J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Okay. And what's your telephone number, Bob? 691-3839. Okay. Do you want Cindy to call you? Yes, please. Fine. I'll give her the message. Two. Hello, Tom Waite speaking. Hello, can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not here. Can I leave a message? Yes, of course. Thanks. This is Nancy. My number is 391-8246. Please ask Cindy to call me. Okay, I'll ask her to call you as soon as she gets back. Thank you. Three. Hello, this is Cindy's house, but Cindy's not home. Oh, I see. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. This is Brian calling. Brian Kennedy. Is that B-R-I-A-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y? Yes, and my number is 271-8914. 271-8914. Okay, and will you call again later? Yes, I will. Four. Oh, no, not another one. Hello. Hello. Is Cindy there? She's not here. Who's this? Um, this is her teacher, Miss Wilson. Oh, Miss Wilson. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to leave your number? It's okay. I'll call back. Okay, one more time. All right. One. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Bob from school. Bob Jackson. Can you spell your last name? J-A-C-K-S-O-N. 
Okay. And what's your telephone number, Bob? 691-3839. Okay. Do you want Cindy to call you? Yes, please. Fine. I'll give her the message. Two. Hello. Tom Waite speaking. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not here. Can I leave a message? Yes, of course. Thanks. This is Nancy. My number is 391-8246. Please ask Cindy to call me. Okay. I'll ask her to call you as soon as she gets back. Thank you. Three. Hello. This is Cindy's house, but Cindy's not home. Oh, I see. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. This is Brian calling. Brian Kennedy. Is that B-R-I-A-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y? Yes. And my number is 271-8914. 271... 271- 8914. Okay. And will you call again later? Yes, I will. Four. Oh, no, not another one. Hello. Hello. Is Cindy there? She's not here. Who's this? Um, this is her teacher, Miss Wilson. Oh, Miss Wilson. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to leave your number? It's okay. I'll call back. <clears throat> okay, so let's check. Hello, folk? Hello? Hello? All right. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, has some problem. Yes, yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, very well. All right, so let's check. Okay, I have the answer. Okay, number one. Uh, number one is B. B, very good. Okay, number two. Number two, my answer is C. Uh, that was Tom, letter A. Oh, I think that was just a girl, isn't it? Okay, let's check later on the tape script. All right, number three. Number three, my answer is C. C, okay, number four. Uh, number four, my answer is B. Okay, very good. So number two, let's check it on the tape script. Okay, one, two. Okay, number two is Nancy. All right. It should be Nancy. Very good. Number two is correct, Nancy. Okay. So let's have this one. Practice 2.2. See this father is taking a phone, a phone message for her. Listen and complete the forms. Okay, so listen carefully. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, very good. So listen carefully. This is the same audio, okay? But you have to 
write down here what are their names and if they have telephone numbers get it and then reason for message okay it's either please call or she he will call you ready yeah one hello hello can i speak to cindy please sorry she's not in can i take a message yes this is bob from school bob jackson can you spell your last name j-a-c-k-s-o-n okay and what's your telephone number bob six nine one three eight three nine okay do you want cindy to call you yes please fine i'll give her the message Two. Hello, Tom Waite speaking. Hello, can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not here. Can I leave a message? Yes, of course. Thanks. This is Nancy. My number is 391-8246. Please ask Cindy to call me. Okay, I'll ask her to call you as soon as she gets back. Thank you. Three. Hello, this is Cindy's house, but Cindy's not home. Oh, I see. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. This is Brian calling. Brian Kennedy. Is that B-R-I-A-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y? Yes. And my number is 271-8914. 271-8914. Okay. And will you call again later? Yes, I will. Four. Oh, no, not another one. Hello. Hello. Is Cindy there? She's not here. Who's this? Um, this is her teacher, Miss Wilson. Oh, Miss Wilson. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to leave your number? It's okay. I'll call back. Okay, ready? One more time. Yes. One. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Bob from school. Bob Jackson. Can you spell your last name? J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Okay. And what's your telephone number, Bob? Six nine one three eight three nine. Okay. Do you want Cindy to call you? Yes, please. Fine. I'll give her the message. Two. Hello, Tom Waite speaking. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not here. Can I leave a message? Yes, of course. Thanks. This is Nancy. My number is 391-8246. Please ask Cindy to call me. Okay. I'll ask her to call you as soon as she gets back. Thank you. Three. Hello. This is Cindy's house, but Cindy's not home. Oh, I see. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. This is Brian calling. Brian Kennedy. Is that B-R-I-A-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y? Yes. And my number is 271-8914. 271-8914. Okay. And will you call again later? Yes, I will. Four. Oh, no. Not another one. Hello. Hello. Is Cindy there? She's not here. Who's this? Um, this is her teacher, Miss Wilson. Oh, Miss Wilson. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to leave your number? It's okay. I'll call back. Uh, 
Okay. Ready? Yeah. Right. Okay, very good. All right, so number one, here's who called. Who called in number one? Uh, he is Bob Justin. Okay, so how do we spell his last name? Uh, J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Okay, very good. J-A-C-K-S-O-N. All right, so and did he give his cell phone number? Uh, telephone number is... Uh, 6913891. 6913839. Oh. All right. It's okay. All right. So, what is the message from uh, Jackson? Uh, he's, uh, uh, he has a message is please call. Okay. Please call. Very good. Number two. Uh, number two. Uh, Names uh, Nancy. Nancy, all right. Okay, did she give her telephone number? Telephone number is 3918246. All right, 3918246. Very good. What is the message? Uh, the message is she is will call me. Okay, so she will call. All right. Okay, number three. Number three is Brian Sandy. All right. Brian, uh, that one is Brian Kennedy. Is your spelling correct? Brian Kennedy. Okay, very good. Uh, well, telephone number is Two seven one eight nine one four. All right. Two seven one eight nine one four. And what is the message? Is a message he, uh, uh, she his will call. All right. So number four. Number four he, uh Name is Smith Wilson. A uh, Smith Wilson. Okay, or Wilson Smith. All right. So, what is uh telephone number? Did she give her telephone number? Uh, I don't hear her telephone number. I think he has now. Yep, she doesn't give any telephone number. Very good. Okay, and then. Uh, here's a message. Yeah, she is will call. All right. Very good. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so now we're down with this. Um, okay, now we're done with this. Topic and this one will focus on titles. Okay, this is what we call titles. Title. Okay, titles for what? Titles for book? No, this is titles for a person. Okay, titles for person. For person. All right. So here are the basic title that we have for a person so these are the commonly titled that you can hear for uh, like every day in in other country because i think in in vietnam you don't use such titles like this one yeah okay yes well in in the philippines too we don't usually use this kind of titles but well anyway so we usually use a title miss this is miss we read this, uh, this as miss mr Mrs., Miss, Doctor, or Professor with the last name, but not with the first name. Informal greetings. Okay, so let's see that one. In English, we have what we call the formal and informal greetings. 
Okay? So, formal greetings, these are formal greetings. Okay, these are the greetings that we use for formal gathering. Or we use this for person, for person who is older than us. Okay, we also use this for formal conversation. Let's say that you are in a meeting and you are having uh, a dialogue or you are talking with someone whose position is higher than you. Okay, we use this for your teacher, for example. You can use this one. Informal greeting. We use this with our friends. 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 Oh, friends. Peers. And such. Okay, so example of informal greetings are, Hey. Howdy. What's up? Okay. Oh. Okay, here are examples of the informal greetings. Well, anyway, we're not going to focus on this one. Okay, so it says here that we usually use the title. So this title, uh, I want you to be uh, familiar with this one. Miss, we use that for single lady. Okay, miss, we use that for single lady. Mr., we use that for single, oh, single, and married man. Okay, so Mrs., we use that for married lady. Okay, as you can see, the Mr., we, it is both used for married and single man because they don't change their surname when they get married, okay? So the lady, they should uh, change their surname when they married or the last name. Lady, change their last name when they get married. That's why we have Miss for single and Mrs. for married lady. Okay, so this one, Dr., Doctor, uh, professor, professor is this one if we shorten it. We use this for occupation, for job. For example, a doctor, we use, yep, we use that for doctor. Prof, we use that for professor. What else? Uh, judge. Okay, you know the judge in court? Okay, we also use that for judge. All right, uh, jury. All right, and there are other many titles that we have. Now, it says here that titles should be put in last name for formal conversation, just like what we have here. Good morning, Miss Smith. So remember, Smith is last name. We put the title in last name. Formal conversation. That is for formal conversation. This one, if you are in formal conversation, this one is incorrect. Good morning, Miss Mary. No. We put Miss for formal conversation, if we are in formal conversation, again, with last name. Okay? But... Yeah. If you are in informal conversation, let's say that you are the same age as Mary, okay? You can put Miss into the first name. Good morning, Miss Mary. Okay, you can put it like that. But if you are in informal conversation, you cannot use like this. You cannot use this one. Good morning, Smith. Okay, no, that's not okay. That's not how we do it. And in some other cases, for informal, they don't use title at all. They don't use title at all. For example, you are friends with uh, 
you are friends with Mary and you're having a colloquial conversation, you can just say good morning. Mary. Okay, this is uh this is the uh, usual greetings that we can hear from other country. We are greeting them together with the first name, okay? First name, not the last name. This one is acceptable, but last name no. Okay, good morning, Mary. Uh good evening. Hello, Cindy. All right. With the last name, it should be with the last. I uh, was sorry, with the first name. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are we good with this one? Are we clear? Okay, very good. Now, let's go over with this activity. Okay, so this is practice. Now, what you're going to do is listen at the woman's greetings, formal or informal. Okay, are the woman greeting formal or informal? So you have to check the correct box. Oh my Let's God. say this is A, box letter A, and box letter B. All right, so number one, it is already given. Okay, so I will play the audio twice. So in your um paper you just write whether it is a for formal and b for informal a or b only okay ready i will play the audio now yeah. friend david wilson hi david nice to meet you two hi let me introduce you this is your new boss susan jackson good morning ms jackson Three. Hello? Hello. This is Bob Cruz calling. Good evening, Bob. How are you? Four. Hello. Do you remember me? I'm Michelle Bolton. Hi, Michelle. How's everything? Five. Good afternoon. I'm Charles Smith. I have an appointment at two o'clock. Hello, Mr. Smith. Nice to see you again. Six. Good afternoon. I'm John Carter, your new student. Hello, John. Seven. Hello? Hi, this is Brian Abrams. I'm returning your call. Hi, Professor Abrams. Thanks for calling. Did you get my homework assignment? Eight. Let me introduce you. This is your grandmother's doctor, Ruth Steinberg. Hello, Dr. Steinberg. I'm glad to meet you. I've heard great things about you. Okay, one more time. One. I'd like you to meet my friend, David Wilson. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Two. Hi, let me introduce you. This is your new boss, Susan Jackson. Good morning, Ms. Jackson. Three. Hello? Hello. This is Bob Cruz calling. Good evening, Bob. How are you? Four. Hello. Do you remember me? I'm Michelle Bolton. Hi, Michelle. How's everything? Five. Good afternoon. I'm Charles Smith. I have an appointment at two o'clock. Hello, Mr. Smith. Nice to see you again. Six. Good afternoon. I'm John Carter, your new student. Hello, John. Seven. Hello? Hi, this is Brian Abrams. I'm returning your call. Hi, Professor Abrams. Thanks for calling. Did you get my homework assignment? Eight. Let me introduce you. This is your grandmother's doctor, Ruth Steinberg. Hello, Dr. Steinberg. I'm glad to meet you. I've heard great things about you. All right, sorry. <clears throat> I didn't notice the time. Okay, so let's see the answers. Okay. Uh, my answer uh, number two. My answer is 
Come on. Okay, repeat number three. Number three, my answer is informal. All right, number four. Number four, my answer is formal. All right, five. Mm -hmm. uh, five, my answer is formal. All right, six. Six, my answer is informal. All right, seven. Seven, my answer is formal. Okay, and eight. S, my answer is informal. Very good. Oh, formal. All right, it's okay. It's all right. So I'll send you, oh, please send your homework later, okay? And then I'll send you another one later in the evening, okay? That is for vocabulary, okay? Okay, okay bye. See you on Friday. Bye-bye.